Hey guys, what's up? We're here with another Trash Party Podcast, episode 2 coming at you. Shit's about to get trashy tonight. We got a lot of juicy topics we want to talk about, but we are a little pressed for time because our special guest does have to leave in a very, very short few minutes. So we're going to go around the table. Who's here with us tonight? Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Tyler, again here. And uh, and uh, I'm so happy to be here. It's crazy. That's all about. That's about all I got to say. All right, I'm coming here. It's your boy Ethan. I'm even fatter than before. Uh, I want to kill myself still, and uh, I'm coming to you with some juicy meat tonight. You're gonna really like the spaghetti I serve up. All right, next. Hey, what, what's up, guys? It's your boy Rose here, and I've been playing a lot of Smite lately. Uh, you know, <gasps> kicking the chair every night, and uh, yeah, that's all. I, that's all I got. What's up, guys? It's your boy Tony here. I hold a cry when I don't pull the trigger, and I don't sleep for school the next day, so I don't go to school the next day. <laughs> and I'm Hunter, but I go by Ninja, and I'm not going to lie, I really had no idea what I was getting myself into, and I said I would come on here, so. <laughs> oh, it's a disaster already. We're already there. We're at, ma- we're at the maximum. I mean, this guy said he was serving up spaghetti. And let's be real. That is that is off to a dark, no, that's weird. dark tone. If you're gonna call me no, out, that's I'm that's start... weird. Absolutely. I'm, I'm pounding I mean, your, that dad. Was your, fault. your dad. Your dad should. Uh, so, uh, what, what kind of games have we been playing lately, guys? I've been playing a lot of Clicker Heroes. I've been playing. I just played Planet Side Two last night. That was pretty fun. I've been playing a lot of Darkscape, unfortunately, and No More Room in Hell. Heroes of the Storm. It's been crazy. It's been awful. <laughs> Um, I've been, well, I've been I've, playing a lot of Darkscape as well, so uh, I, mean, see, I, I feel your pain. See, Tyler doesn't even need to say what games he's been playing because we all we all know it's going to yeah, be the Smite. same one. Yeah, Smite. Yeah, we know Rose, Smite, Smite, Smite. Oh! Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Oh. Mass Effect 3 multiplayer was the best last night. I got a gold. I saw you on there. I was like, what a f- <laughs> I get. <laughs> Bring back the good old memories, you know? Well, I'm not going to lie, ever since Halo 5 released, it's really, really re-sparked my interest in Halo 4, so I've been grinding out Halo 4 oh. at least, at least like, Bro. 10 to 12 hours a day. It's been one Halo 4 joke every episode so far now. We're going to keep that trend going. Who thought that was a joke? <laughs> you guys ever did a Halo 4 joke? Yeah. Halo 4? Uh, um... <laughs> Uh, and just to summarize, we know uh, Tyler, uh, Tony, and Ethan have just been playing Warframe. And uh, Hunter, you're you're a COD pro, so we we know where you've been. Hey, Ethan. Yeah, Black you Ops know what's worse than 9/11? Halo, Halo 4. Halo 4. Oh. So uh, Hunter was talking to me last night, and he he came out with a new video, which you guys should check out. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Uh, over on his channel, but he came out with a video last night talking about Black Ops 3 coming out on last-gen consoles. That's insane. It was insane news. I didn't believe one second of it, and I had to cross-check that on Google because I just didn't want to believe it, but it is true. Black Ops 3 is coming out on the 360 and PS3. That shit looks awful. It looks like it's being played on a Nintendo DS, not even a 3DS, just a regular one. It's awful. It looks garbage. Even worse, it's on that, that flat 2DS that doesn't open or close. Yeah. <laughs> the flat one. <laughs> what are your th- what were your thoughts on that, Hunter? Like, I mean, are, what what do you recommend to anyone looking to pl- play Black Ops Three? I mean, if you're looking to play Black Ops Three, first of all, I mean, the oh. game's gonna be fifty dollars on last gen consoles, so you should honestly just save that money, put it towards a, a current gen console, and then pick up a copy of Black Ops Three on there. I mean, Thanksgiving is coming up in a few weeks. You know, Black Friday is right after it. Consoles are gonna be cheaper. Games are gonna be cheaper. Just save your money, man. It's not worth wasting it just to play the game a couple weeks earlier than you could otherwise and get the true experience. And I mean, if you want to really put like my like put how bad it is into perspective, there was a poll on Twitter. It was <laughs> um, 007 Nightfire versus Call of Duty Black Ops 3 <laughs> on Xbox 360, and 007 Nightfire won the vote. So if that does not put into perspective how poorly developed <laughs> Black Ops 3 is on last-gen consoles, I really don't know how else to say it to you guys. Well, there's also an entire portion of the game cut out, right? The campaign is gone. It is non-existent. The campaign is completely gone, and the multiplayer will not be updated at all. Yep. <gasps> nice. 
It just, it just is a train wreck of an idea. But the reason that Activision's doing it is because cash grab. I mean, every, people are actually going to buy that shit. And do you know how much money it costs to produce that? Next to nothing, because it's not even finished. Like, you don't have to do anything. They're not even going to manage it after it comes out. It's like no Treyarch garbage. Treyarch is too lazy to actually do it themselves. They don't even want to deal with it, so they're having a third-party developer do it for them. Yep. And, and the saddest part about that, Ethan, is that uh, the large majority of the community, both casual and competitive, will tell you that Treyarch is the most efficient developer out of the three for the Call of Duty series. <laughs> I feel like I need to go and buy all of them just so I could go in my backyard and shoot them and then bury You already it. have all of them. Yeah, you do. Just download them all on your hard drive and shoot your hard drive. You just need to get you just need to get Black Ops three for your three sixty, then you'll have all of them. Now speaking of I mean like, I mean these 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 cross platform these cross generation titles coming out. I know Shadow of Mordor, Far Cry four, these triple A titles coming out are being released and held back by being released on these last gen consoles. It's just such it's not a good idea. There's there's content that's been cut out of all the, these games coming out on last gen consoles and it just hurts the bottom line, dude. And I just want to see it stop honestly cuz it's it's getting out of hand. It's been the next gen consoles have been out for a while now. Like it's out of hand at this point to still be doing this. I agree. Right. And I think that this is the last year that we're going to see a Call of Duty game made for the last gen consoles. I don't think that um whether it's Ghosts 2 or Modern Warfare 4, whatever they decide to do, I, I believe it's going to be Ghosts 2 because of the ending of the first game. But whatever um, titled Infinity Ward decides to go with, I do not think um, Activision will have them hire someone to make it on the last-gen consoles. I think this is the last year, and that is a sign that within the next couple of years, um, the Xbox 360 servers could be completely taken offline. That is true. And that is something that. we have to wait for. That's going to be happening, yeah. I, I I totally see that happening. You should upgrade to an Xbox One. If you're an Xbox diehard, just get up upgrade to the Xbox One. There's actually I wouldn't even say upgrade to an Xbox I One, wouldn't. man. Like if you're gonna upgrade to a next gen console, I I get a PC. suggest a PS4. Like oh. if you're gonna get a console, dude, go with uh, PS4. If you're, yeah, I mean P- PS4. I it, do agree. The Call of Duty has the exclusivity. I mean the servers are optimized. Like if you're a Call of Duty player, you need to get a PS4. It's really now. as simple as that at this point. Well, Call of Duty. Player, this is the like generation of the PS4, I believe. I believe the PS4 is going to be really, really on top, unlike the last generation. But I think PS4 really has shit locked down. I mean, sales-wise, they're really ahead, and they've had kind of the right idea out of the gate. Uh, you know, Microsoft really had to backpedal on a lot of the things they were planning on doing with the Xbox One. And pretty much everything they said they were going to stick with, they uh, backpedaled. So, you know, it's, right. it's just hasn't been good for them uh, with this generation thus far. And I don't really foresee them coming out on top at the end of it all. Uh, so, yeah, I do say, definitely, yeah, exactly. if you're going to stay on console, PS4 all the way. Because it's just, right. you know. But me, I moved to and PC. Also, also because, I mean, the main thing that kept Xbox One in any form of competition with the PlayStation 4 is the titles. Xbox still has Halo, has Gears of War. You know, Halo 5 just came out. Gears of War Ultimate Edition came out a couple months ago. And it had the exclusivity for Call of Duty. Faster DLC, faster updates, and the competitive scene was focused on Xbox. But now that Gears of War did not successfully revive the community to the extent they had hoped, and Halo 5 has been released, with the loss of Call of Duty exclusivity, they pretty much have nothing keeping them in at this point except for Gears of War 4. So... Xbox is is fighting a very losing battle. Hey, don't forget Sunset Overdrive, man. Come on. Let's be real. Okay, man. Okay. <laughs> but and, and hey, don't forget uh PS4 has Bloodborne, which you know, really good copy pasta with different clothes on for uh <laughs> for Dark Souls. That's been that that was really cool, really cool experience. But uh, you know, uh yeah, no, but I totally agree the exclusive. I mean, exclusivity in in its own is fucking useless we, we do not need exclusives it it, it hurts Ooh. the consumer it, and we talked about this little last podcast i mean exclusives are just unnecessary like, it, it's just another thing another trend that i don't know why it right. hasn't died out yet but it just it doesn't i mm-hmm. don't get it money, right because money, money. with call of duty you see what they did was they 
they made the transition from Xbox 360 to Xbox One towards the middle of Ghosts and going into AW. So if you wanted to continue to compete and go to LAN events, you needed to get an Xbox One, or you wouldn't be used to the controller, you'd be un- under-practiced, it wouldn't be the same experience, and you'd go and you'd just get destroyed. So if you wanted to comp- compete efficiently, you needed an Xbox One. So obviously Microsoft gets together, MLG and, their, and Activision, and they're like, hey, let's make it the Xbox One. Microsoft will get a lot of sales, get some of that money to Activision, because obviously they control what happens with Call of Duty. Microsoft has the Xbox, and MLG controls the competitive scene. So we get all them together, we can all make a little money off this. And then the very next year, they go, Activision goes, hey, this year let's get MLG and Sony together and switch comp to PS4. So in two years, the competitive console was switched twice, grabbing every competitive player money for both consoles and that was when i pretty much decided i did not want to compete anymore and i was just what is that you know what i mean like <laughs> that was just that was one of the most money hungry i mean to be honest just, i don't know activision is a bunch of whores they're whores <laughs> so we heard it here that was pretty that was pretty uh disappointing Absolutely. You heard yeah, you heard it here folks. Activision's horse. Which we knew. I mean Destiny, come on. We we whoo, like we, uh, <laughs> come on. Please, dude. Please. I, I was hoping once in my life I could sit here and not hear that. Yeah, I mean, let's, but, let's skip the Destiny conversation. You, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I was deleting videos off my hard drive earlier to make a space and I noticed I had some Destiny videos um in in there and I, I had to bring my garbage can over next to my chair in case I needed to puke <laughs> while I was deleting all the videos. Oh god! Yeah, I mean that was like pre-update Destiny too. Yeah. Oh, pre-update. Pre-game being finished. Ascendant I, materials, bro. Dude, Ascendant shards. Apparently, they got rid of that shit. But like, I was watching. They a, did. I was watching a tape video, and he was like, "This game is so great." I played it when it first came out. I hated it. I was really bored, but now this game's good. And I was like, Tabe, that's because they finished the game now. They finished it. Now you're playing, right. you're playing the finished version. <laughs> right. They dude. put all the content nah, man, back that in. That makes me so, so frustrated, dude. All right. On Xbox One, okay. Halo the Master Chief Collection has 60 oh. gigabytes worth of updates. <gasps> they, have, they have. I'm not kidding. I'll, I would go on my console memory and show you guys. There are 60 gigabytes of updates. They pretty much re-released the game through updates. <laughs> like, Why would you pay they, sixty dollars for a beta? It's, it's like, a dollar a gigabyte. I'm not kidding. I have probably taken up forty percent of my hard drive space with just AW, the Master Chief Collection, and Gears of War Ultimate Edition. I've taken up forty percent of my hard drive because AW has like forty gigabytes of updates. MCC has like sixty. It's just it's so bad. <laughs> And it could be more than 60. It could be higher than that. I might be wrong. A lot of people, you know, with this on the onset of this next generation of consoles, current gen, I should say, a lot of people are like, oh, it's going, we're, we're going digital. You know, that's the direction we're moving. Everything's going to be digital in this generation pretty much. So there's not going to be a lot of need for physical copy. And same with PC. But you know what? To, to what I say, honestly, still, even in this generation of consoles, the hardware isn't there yet, dude, to be going all digital. People are filling up their hard drives with five games. And it and it, it you need to pre-install them. You need to preload them just to play them, even if they're on a disc. Right. Like, it's just the technology just doesn't <laughs> seem to be there yet for it to be convenient. Like people want it to be convenient to be all digital. Like, are you saying you right. want to use a hundred gigabytes for two games? Like, is that convenient to you? Is that what your idea of convenience is? Sitting there for five hours to download a disc that you have in your hands. That you went right. and bought from the store anyway. Right. Like, is that actually the direction right. you want? I just don't. Right. Really. Man, on the right. bright side, at least at least Microsoft has released a new edition of the Xbox One with a terabyte hard drive. So now we can have ten games on the hard drive instead of five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was a really really good decision from them. I, I can now one. have five extra games on my console. <laughs> it's just. And it's I'm very so excited. Long. I don't know, man. I already have my terabyte hard drive almost filled up, but I have a computer, so it's more than just games on there. You know, like I, I don't know how I could fill right. up a entire terabyte of just games and updates. That would be pretty right, difficult. Right. I don't know what they're doing. But well, um, to be honest, man, I'm extremely late. I probably should leave now. But uh, <laughs> you should. 
<laughs> I was uh, looking at know, the time. Ten minutes late, but it's uh, okay. Yeah. Um, thank nice. you for having me on, guys. And uh, if Chandler for some reason puts anything of mine in the video, like or description, please do not look at it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> by all means, do not. I'll, <laughs> yeah, don't don't do that. It's not a good idea. It's probably it's probably a virus. All right, I'll see you guys later. Okay, <laughs> later, Hunter. Thanks Bye, for being here, man. Nice, have a nice flight. A nice flight to LA. All who have ball. <laughs> um, so I mean, did, did we ever well, talk about Halo Online ever? Yeah, Halo Online. Uh, no. Yeah, last podcast. Yeah, well, we I kind of touched upon yeah. Halo Online. Halo Online has been really cool. I'm really glad with what they they're doing with Halo Online. I mean, because we talked about Halo Five getting a PC port, but it's like they're trying to make they're trying to replicate Halo Three with Halo Online right now. They're trying yeah. to remake Halo Three. The only that, thing so. that really sucks about Halo Online currently is that um only about a hundred people can play it at a time. Well no, it's not so. that it's limited that much. It's just that there's not as many people that know about it yet and that are actively on it. Because a lot of people like yeah, me knew about it when it first came out and then they went on, probably downloaded stuff, went on, saw that there was no multiplayer and they're like, ah, uh, I'm out. And they probably have not n- heard now that it's it's updated now there is multiplayer so it's going to take a while for people to to get into it and be like oh this is okay it's finished and actually start playing so it's only a matter of time because it's very it's pretty um, recent that it's come is there out a multiplayer. way to make your own server on that game like have we confirmed that or not yes. confirmed that there yes there is i think you have to port forward though i like to try it with hamachi actually though um see if that would yeah work. i'd really like to hit that up but it's just so hard to uh Find a time when everything isn't full. Yeah, there's most of the servers are either private or full because there's just a lack thereof uh, of servers. But uh, yeah, it's it's really fun though. I mean, it it feels Halo at least, and they have tried to cut out all the content that was not Halo that was going to be in that game. So you know they've done a pretty good job. Uh, my hats off to the guys at El Dorito that have cracked that game to all hell and have just just you know, liberated the PC Halo community and revived it from everyone who's been waiting for Halo 3 to come out on PC that never got it after Halo 2. And, uh, you know, it's just been dead dead space since oh. Halo 2 on PC. There's been nothing until now. <laughs> no pun intended. But um, speaking of Visceral, um, you know, Star Wars Battlefront's coming out. EA's Star Wars Battlefront's coming out this this month in November. I'm pretty excited for it. I know a lot of you guys probably aren't getting it, but I might get it if I can get some side cash. I don't I'm know. tempted. I'm, really I'm yeah, tempted to I'm get the probably. game. Um, but what's really turning me off is the, the two letters on the publisher. There's two letters oh, that I see yeah, on the corner of the box. E A The word, the letters I see are D L and C. Ah, no? uh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that company, that publisher, DLC. Yeah. Yeah, the DLC. Yeah. yeah. DLC, um, you know, there's already day one DLC, and you're like, Ugh. but it is supposed to link up with the movies or the movie that's coming out, and, and so that DLC comes out for free when the movie comes out in December. But you can get it early if you pre-order, which that honestly not that bad because we're still getting it when the movie that's comes fair. out to link up with the movie. So it's like if I played it early, it'd be weird. So because um, I hadn't seen the movie. But the fact that it has a yeah. $60 uh, season pass, ooh, boy, that is a $50. I'm sorry, it's $50. But uh, it, that's still a huge turnoff because that just, you know. So, you know. I mean, I played a little bit of it. It was really fun. I had tons of fun. I'm not going to lie. And that's what I'm basing like, my that opinion was, off of is that much. It didn't make me as happy as the hardline beta did. Because the hardline beta, for some reason, just really turned me on. Like, I was, I was just, like, I don't usually get hard, but the hardline beta actually made me hard for at hardline. least three minutes. We had a lot of fun on Hardline Beta. Uh, the full game, on the other hand, oof. But, um, you know, the beta was, oh, beta oh. was really fun. But, um, you know, speaking of Visceral, who also made Battlefield Hardline, they've come up quite a few times now. Um, Visceral is also under EA, as you guys probably know, and Visceral is said to be working on a Halo, uh, whew, uh Star Wars project as well. Um, so they've said to be working on a open world RPG for Star Wars. 
Um, that sounds really fun. Um, I would uh, literally just take my cock and shove it directly inside of that. Yeah. But yeah, would I get any reason to not play Old Republic? Probably. You know? Um, visceral... If it's single player, that'll be enough for me. Here's my angle, and I said this before Battlefront beta even came out, uh, when I heard about the no campaign thing in Battlefront. Um, way back when it was said that EA acquired the rights to make the Star Wars games only exclusively, they had the license for it, uh, we all knew that DICE was going, we saw the writing on the wall. DICE, it, famous for the same style of game that Battlefront was, was going to make the next Battlefront. Visceral was, they we thought, going to finish 1313. That is not what they're doing, we don't think. Uh, they might be using assets from 1313, we don't really know, but uh, everything LucasArts did, we nobody really wants to touch, because LucasArts in its death throes was insane, so everyone tries to stay away from anything they were they were affiliated with uh, near the end All there. Right. Um, guys, I know it's a bit off topic, I'm just saying this really quick, I have gotten confirmation that I will be getting Fallout 4 release day, so I will probably have day after release videos coming out just for you guys. Ooh. I will be doing that with Ethan, actually. Andrew is yeah, actually definitely getting that. Andrew is actually probably going to be live streaming Fallout 4 when it comes out. Andrew is the dude who we were talking about last podcast, um, who couldn't be here. He's also once again he's working. He's at college. We don't know where the fuck he is really, but uh, he's somewhere not here. And he's really he's a busy guy. But he comes home usually around nighttime when we're all leaving and getting off and stuff because we have to wake up early in the morning. And so what's probably going to happen is Andrew's probably going to spearhead the the Twitch community, and he's going to be live streaming in the, in the name of Trash Party and getting shit all trashy over there. So, um, preemptively, if you want to go follow uh, the Trash Party channel over there so that you want to see maybe some Fallout 4 streaming when the game comes out, uh, then you can go down to that link below and give us an early follow so that when those streams start coming out, you'll be there for them, and you'll get the notification, and hopefully, uh, you know, we can just spread the trash all throughout the internet. We're, we're trying to just take everything over and just just spread it all around. Uh, it's gonna be a landfill. We're just turning the internet into one big landfill. It's gonna be awful. Reddit, everything. Except We're, Tumblr. Except Tumblr. We're staying except Tumblr. We're staying We're away from Tumblr. Tumblr. I mean, honestly, we, Tumblr is nothing for honestly, us. Honestly, I'm probably gonna. <laughs> honestly, for Trash Party, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna go on those porn websites like Pornhub and Xvideos and stuff, and I'm gonna post an ad, and it's like, "Are you a dad?" About. 20 to 40 years old, looking to get no. fucked really hard in the ass, contact OB's rampage. <laughs> you heard it here, guys. That adds also you're going to see that on Craigslist in a couple days. Um, that's, that's where all the magic happens. Yeah. So. We're going to get you in the we're gonna get you in the car for Craigslist for the sex ad, and then we're actually just gonna strangle you and stab you at the same time in our car. Oh, yeah, like I'm yeah. not the one. Cause like dads are better when they're cold. I'm not the one who's enticing hey, our viewers. It's, it's actually Ethan. Yeah. Um, oh. fact, um, the famous Craigslist killers that had people all worried about national news and whatnot. My stepmother is actually the detective that solved that case. And now they're coming for it because they heard this on the podcast. So, oh, oh no. really? she was all over the news for like I don't know, maybe like a couple months. So if they don't know already, they got autism. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be like. She was on the news for years, and then a years. couple months. <laughs> um, yeah, Craigslist. Hey, Rose, is who fought in World War Three? Uh, oh my god, no. I fucking hate you. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of Battlefront and uh, X videos and porn sites, I actually I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna disclose how I managed to to get to this point in the internet, but I was. Uh, I saw a Star Wars Battlefront video on X videos with the title. Uh, five white guys cream pie rebel scum or something like that and it was just the <laughs> empire it was the empire very one-sidedly destroying the rebel team on hoth walker defense in the beta and i just whoo boy i thought that shit was hilarious um and that made me go a little harder so I mean, that's not what you were expecting though no it wasn't you what i was expecting. expecting it was on the but front page too it was so funny. Yeah, no, I clicked on it because I was expecting what it said, but I, it was foo, it was gameplay. So, but um, and that's that's Tony totally masturbating. It probably made you even uh, more hard. It did. It made me harder. <laughs> yeah. Um, but visceral. Getting back to we, we managed to somehow somehow we managed to get back to 
to Battlefront after being derailed that far. We're going to get back to Battlefront Visceral uh, because back when <laughs> back when Maybe Battlefront was said to not have a campaign, I said that their their angle is probably that DICE is more known for their multiplayer-centric genre and their more multiplayer-centric experience. Battlefront is a more multi-centric game in the first place. Because let's be honest, how often did you actually play the campaign in Battlefront 2? Not as much as you were playing Instant Action and Galactic Conquest and stuff like that. So it wasn't something that we needed that bad and that was characteristic of the series. It wasn't like we were like, here's KOTOR 3 without the campaign. Like, that was not... And it's like, it's just multiplayer now. Like, that's not the same thing. But... Uh, quick, quick tip on the KOTOR 3 note. If you actually want to play KOTOR 3, play the Jedi Knight uh, storyline on Old Republic, because that's pretty much KOTOR 3. Yeah, I really need to play through that, because that's so cool. I'm I'm excited to see why you say that, because I know you're coming from a, a place of experience with that, and so I, I really want to see what that's all about, because that sounds really yeah, interesting. Star Wars is a really good game. Yeah, we're going to probably start really playing game. that. We should do videos for that. Honestly, I back like in the Great Depression, when we all had really bad computers. I played that game at like 20 frames per second to like level 40, <laughs> and that took about it like a month. That, game, be that game's engine is really bad too, so I don't know how. It's yeah. it's just a Mass Effect 3 engine. And they just like this. We use that cell shaded for it. an RPG purposes, so that's why it looks like Mass Effect. Kind of has like, like, like Mass Effect, but but then they added a uh, cartoon. <laughs> It's cartoon Mass Effect. Mass Effect, yeah, it's cartoon Mass Effect. Because if the game doesn't look yeah. like a cartoon, it's not fun. We've all learned that. Also, if it doesn't look like yeah. a cartoon, it's also not indie. So there's a lot of yeah. factors with the cartoon. I just get my computer back and start hammering out some Borderlands 2. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. We're probably going to do a playthrough of Borderlands 2 for a video. Um, I would love that. I love Borderlands 2 so much. No one even knows. We I have... love it more than you. How about that? Ooh. Yeah. And Tyler actually had a honeymoon on Borderlands 2 on the Xbox One, and he had his DDoS beaches on, so every time he'd turn on his... Oh, boy. Oh. His beaches. Wait, How's his that DDoS? Mic hey, I gave him that mic. <laughs> oh I god. gave him that oh mic. Oh my god. Did you get that? Did you get that? Did it's you a Frankenstein mic. Rock band set? I have my walk band mic. Okay, that's funny, because Chandler... I know. That's the joke. I also. Oh, that, so, uh, it's not the mi it's not the mic that I use right now though. I don't. I use my turtle beaches. Now. Hey, you, know, you know, Tyler. I'm gonna be honest. Um, although I wasn't uh really included in this, Tony is one of my better friends, and he lets me hug him, unlike you. So although Tony does have uh, mic, Tony might you like. Know what Tony else might he like has. to hug him, but Tony and I touch asses and knees. We do. So that do we all things like this and I sleep ass to ass. You Tony, you ass and I will sleep to But um, Tyler, I'm actually just going to insert a door joke here and let it be. Oh my god. Um, I forget I'm already off. Like, I have yeah, yeah. things I wanted to talk about. I, I, it I'm keeps happening. Lost. It's been um, really good tonight with the, uh, I wanna, the uh, tangents uh, that we go on. I was just just to Hail finish online. Hail online. Oh, you want to go back That's to Hail I online? I wanted to get like, like I well like personally, I want to know how to install it. But like maybe other people would come across this and be like, "Holy shit, Hail online!" And like you would show them how to install it there too, kind of, despite like talking about it. Yeah. And like um, showing I'll, links because I didn't install that, and if I I need to install that. I'll probably put a link in the description to the Reddit page that explains how to get it exactly, like word for word. And I'm not saying go do it because I'm not sure how illegal it is. And I'm not saying I did do it, I'm not saying you should do it, but maybe there will be a link or won't be a link in the it's, description it's that I might accidentally area, like have. Piracy's like a gray area, like it depends what country you're in, you know, it depends like why you're doing it. Like it's it's really yeah. gray. I'm just yeah, it I'm depends just... what time you do it. Like if you do it at eleven fifty nine, it's okay, but if you do it at twelve, it's not. Like it depends yeah. on if you're touching asses or not. Well. Um It really depends if you're using like like, uh, the Pirate Bay sometimes, like, it's the most public one, so it's the best one to use, but it's also the riskiest one to use. It's kind of a trade-off. Because of or, that. Uh, yeah, because, like, if they're going to look for uh, trash party pirates, they're going to look for them on the Pirate Bay. They're not going to look for them on, like, the old Pirate Bay. They're not going to look for them on, like, on, like, your friend's USB. They're going to look for them. <laughs> 
Um, but I guess I'll try to put a link in the description to Halo Online and how to get it if you're interested in playing Halo on the PC with a pretty Halo-y feel to the PC experience yeah. in a revived community of new Forge maps and new game types coming out and all kinds of stuff like that. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, it's going to bring me back to Halo 1 because if you, anyone here was playing Halo 1 for like the past 20 years for some reason, because like the community on the PC stayed alive for that long, and they modded the game so hard on Halo 1 that they bought and like, they bought, uh, what's that game mode with all the, like, the zombies quotes? What's that called? This is Infection. They bought Infection into it. Um, it wasn't, I used to say not that long ago, but it actually was a long ago now. Like, I'd say middle, when we were in the middle school, I don't know what years that, that would be. cancerous. Is it just a game type uh, where you're, like, killing Flood in waves? No. No, 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 no. It's players. It's the players, and, like, it's kind of like the, the monkey tag in a gym that you'd all hold arms and swing around the room like monkeys. Nobody and ever try to grab everybody. Oh, I was going to say, because if it's just, like, waves of flood, no, that's yeah, I'd probably ops. kill myself. That's just they Spartan have that ops. in custom games. I'd Ooh, still... custom edition. Um, custom edition. Well, this is pretty much Halo. People are calling this Halo 3 custom edition. That is one of the monikers that Halo Online has been awarded so far. That's a good one. Because of its honestly, field. That's... Uh, just because that's of thing. how the game is yeah. set up. It's very Halo 3. It has It has Halo Reach weapons, and it has... Halo 3 weapons and Halo 2 weapons and stuff like that, but at, uh, I feel even when I was playing it, I feel like it's more Halo 3 than it is Halo 2 or 1 or Reach, or it's it's more Halo 3 and 4 than anything else. It's It's got a lot of the Halo 3, and it has some of the Halo 4, like the sprinting and stuff like that, which can be toggled <laughs> off in the settings for I'm servers sure. and stuff. So. Aspects. Yeah. You actually just sounded like a robot. You really did. Um, but yeah, I'll leave links. Ha, to... ha, ha, ha. That's really good. Ha, 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 ha. I'll leave links in the description to anyone interested in playing Halo Online. Uh, we might end up playing it for a video once we get cleared with the legality of all of that and see how okay that is to do. I've seen a lot of prevalent YouTubers do it, but I just want to be sure and I want to do some research before we do it. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let us know. Or if you want to play with us, let us know. But, um, you know, whatever. And, um, but yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah. And it'll be for just content... informational purposes. Don't, don't think I'm telling you guys you need to go download it. You should. It's for information only. Just, just, you know, and I wink, you know. So just a little disclaimer. Yeah, like, we're, we're, this is, uh, this is the leaked, uh, tutorial. The yeah, leaked, uh... leaked tutorial. <laughs> On how to this is the break the uh, trait. This is the leak demo. Oh. <laughs> um, I, I tried to invite our buddy what? Andrew to see if he was actually online. No, he isn't. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. Um, just just to wrap up though, what I wanted to say about Visceral though, and in, in the Coleman, what what I am going to say with the Battlefront Visceral thing, what I was trying to get at is that I think EA's angle with the Star Wars games is to have Dice do the multiplayer, Visceral do the story. Because now they're going to be like, hey, you wanted the story. Visceral's going to do story better than Dice would have. And they do do story better than Dice does. And, and, um, so you should play the Visceral RPG with, with people coming on board from, uh, other RPGs that have been made that are really successful. I can't remember exactly who. Um, but I read, uh, very, prevalent uh team member from another really popular rpg was coming on board i can't think of it right now but you know things like that i think that's their angle they're gonna be like hey if you want to play multiplayer go get battlefront and if you want a really single player rich experience go play this visceral game and it's it's going to be like you know that kind of of feel because because it would be half-assing a campaign on dice's part at the end of the day, and that's and that's how it was in Battlefront 2, it was half-assing a campaign just so it was there. And if Visceral would try to do a multiplayer, it'd probably be half-assed. So it's just that kind of thing of, like, do what you guys do best, not what you guys don't do best, and we'll leave that to the other guys, because we have other guys that can do that shit. So, like, don't worry about it. So I, th I feel like that was their angle. But anyway. Um, in yeah, terms... I feel like games try to focus on one thing way too much. 
like the campaign's good, but the multi or the campaign's good, but the multiplayer is shit, or the multiplayer is good than the campaign. Shit. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, what do you prefer? Would you prefer there to just be some half ass thing that then you hate the game more and you give it a lower rating or something in your mind because it feels not finished and it feels rushed and it feels bad to to play through because it's not what that developer does well in the first place, but they felt like they had to have it in there. It's like fear multiplayer. Like you never were getting on fear for the multiplayer. Like you were playing it to be scared and alone in single player and shit. Like nobody got on fear too to go in the death match. Like it just went and I played it. I played it. And it isn't good. Like I know trust me, like it's not good. Like don't worry. Uh, but it's just that kind of thing, you know? Um, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, you would have if it was good, but it didn't happen. Um, in terms of videos that we have coming up, we've been talking, hinting a lot of, like, ooh, why was they, why are they playing Heroes of the Storm? Uh, there's good, <laughs> very good reasons for why we were, <laughs> very good reasons for why we were playing some of these really weird games that we mentioned earlier. Uh, we have, obviously, this podcast coming out this week. And for the this week and next week, the things coming out is probably a No More Room in Hell collab video, which I've been experiencing technical difficulties. I have the project still, but my Sony Vegas is no longer working. Nothing from the Sony Projects like program suite is working. None of my versions of Sony Vegas are working. Uh, Acid isn't working. Nothing is working. If anyone knows about an error like that, that prevents them from even launching, please let me know or send me somewhere to help because I've tried a lot of things to fix it. So if you guys know anything or have experienced it before, uh, hit me up. But, um, because I really need to fix it. So until I get that fixed, I was very far into editing the No More Room in Hell video, and so it will not be finished until I can get Vegas working, which I'm going to try some stuff tonight, and hopefully it will be. But until then, I'm going to be downloading something else to edit with, and that is what I'll be putting up this podcast with. And Rose uh, and I filmed, uh, what, what did we do, Rose, a couple of days ago? Oh, a uh, pretty bad uh, fucking Heroes of the Storm uh, play gameplay and uh, review. So, yeah. Uh, other than those two videos, we have a little tiny video Tyler and I worked on for a little bit. It's going to be a short one. Uh, based upon the difficulties Chandler is having, it's going to be some uh, a sequel to one of Chandler's old videos he made about five years ago on Moonscape. <laughs> it was a money making guide he made. Uh, I'll have a link to the original video, the first one, because you will understand what's happening in the sequel unless you watch the first one. But we're making a sequel of that video. It's going to be really good. It's going to be short. It's going to get to the point. I'm using a Windows Movie Maker, so you know how this is going to go. Bad. Who's in the call? Nobody. Um, An intruder. <laughs> but, okay, uh, not actually nobody. Fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. So jumping into our group. Uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna sleep ass to ass on a Friday night. Okay. And uh, Saturday. And anyone Friday, else? Sunday night and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, ass to ass every day. And if anybody else wants to sleep ass to ass with flows, you should subscribe so we know who you are, and you can request to sleep ass to ass with flows. You can private message us. We'll we'll respond. Absolutely. I'm okay. Yeah. With for, us, uh, uh, Give us For the uh, low price uh, of uh, seventy-five cents, uh, you could sleep no, ass to ass. No, just just subscribe. Just subscribe. That's fine. Just subscribe no, and like uh, the video. I I I I want to buy uh, nice things. No. Like I can't afford Portal Two. I really want to uh, look into doing a Portal Two multiplayer uh, playthrough with Chandler because we treat each other very poorly when we play anything together. And Rose so, is awful uh, at video but, games, so it's so frustrating for me. Wow, <laughs> that, that, actually offend, that actually offended me, because I'm actually not bad. At small <laughs> <ish. laughs> <At Portal. laughs> <laughs> like if you're if you're talking about something like Darkscape, I'm not oh, like boy. I'm fucking awful at Darkscape. That game just gives me I'm cancer. Talking about like Smite, you know. I'm really good oh. at you, boy. <gasps> you just told me awful at like yeah. the only game I play. I got a pentakill in League of Legends yesterday, so I'm pretty bad at it. So. You're gay.
I got off League of Legends. I haven't played it in a long time, so I'm really good at League of Legends. Yeah, I haven't played. I haven't played League in a while. I'm pretty happy. I literally only play League with four other people. Like I have to have a team of five to play. The last time I played League was with Dylan six years ago. (laughs) I don't even care if. uh... They nerfed. I don't remember what I was gonna say. I was going to say something and just left. Just went away. Probably something really dumb, though. Probably something really fucking retarded. Is this still I a podcast? Won. Oh, yeah. My, yeah, this is still a podcast. Um, so... Uh... Sorry, I was just checking stuff off. So, uh, YouTube Red has been in the news lately. Uh, especially, you know, as YouTubers, whether you're just a viewer or you're a content creator, YouTube Red is gonna be affecting you in some way, shape, or form, and a lot of the discussion has been about how YouTube Red is going about ad revenue for content creators, how YouTube Red is going about their whole presentation of the platform and things like that, and YouTube Red is going to be a little bit of a game changer as the subscription-based platform uh, for YouTube in order to see no ads on the site anymore. and thus creating a problem with content creators because there's a new way with YouTube Red viewers to generate money for content creators that are monetizing their videos. And it goes by watch time instead of views with ads that have been seen by the viewers. And... It's getting pooled between all of the content creators. and It's just, it's weird. It's a really weird kind of formula. But at the same time, the way they're doing it, it seems to be one of the only ways it's going to work. Because, I mean, if all of the ad revenue is what generates money for most of the content, it's their main source of income as a content creator on YouTube. Sure, they can do sponsorships and stuff like that and paid advertisements uh, and endorsements and product reviews and stuff. But... A majority is going to come from ad revenue from uh, Google AdSense on YouTube. And without ads being ran, YouTube Red is kind of making it so that smaller channels that might have shorter videos or longer videos of lower quality, shorter videos of higher quality and things like that, it's going to pretty much be all about viewer retention which, in my opinion, it feels like that makes sense. Uh, obviously, you want people to be watching your videos all the way through, and you should be rewarded for that, whether your video is long or short. But in that formula, it just has some people up in arms, uh, whether it's bigger channels or smaller channels. But I think that it's a natural step of progression for YouTube to be doing this kind of subscription-based thing. And I feel like it's just necessary uh, that they start to move in this direction. It was inevitable. YouTube has become so big that it's just another way for them to make money, obviously. It's another way for content creators to make money and to start to create more premium content. But a good point is brought up by Funhouse that, you know, are you really going to want to is anyone really going to want to not watch the free... Like PewDiePie, for instance, is going to have a premium show on YouTube Red for only YouTube Red uh, users. But, like, is it going to be... What he's doing for the premium content, is that going to be enough to make people say, I want to pay for that, and the stuff that he has on his channel for free, this thing is different enough that I want it, and I want to see it. Because, let's face it, we can pretty much see these people, we can see PewDiePie for free right now. So these people are going to be after doing things very different, very out of the box, but very entertaining still in Um, order to have people like it. I agree and disagree. I feel like people who don't care too much, people who aren't really fucking like avid about that person aren't going to go and pay money to watch them. Um, Do you know what the, like the price is supposed to be like, for a for a subscription, ten dollars a month, I think it is. See, that's not bad at all. I pay twelve dollars a month for Spotify Premium. Right. And um, see, I think if someone 
has a lot of people they watch on YouTube, especially gamers, and a lot of different things they want to watch. Maybe there's other people um, that they like even more that they will they'll pay to see. You know, if there's people that they really care about, they really enjoy the content that they're making out, no matter or that they're putting out, no matter how different it is, uh, they're still gonna want to pay to see out. it. You know, there's tons of people that are gonna be on there that they're gonna want to watch. <laughs> Tony, I fucking hate you. And um, putting it all away. Doesn't like. Oh my god, are you five? <gasps> five on, motherfucker. Five on. Oh, God. Anyway, so, uh, you know, it's not just about one person that they're going to uh, pay that subscription to see, you know? So I think people are pretty much just going to keep doing what they're doing and, you know, have their channels, do their thing. And they're probably honestly going to, I feel, start putting less content on regular YouTube because they're going to be obviously making more profit from YouTube Red as well. So they're going to be paying way less attention to regular YouTube videos, much more on YouTube Red, and that's where their profit's going to be coming from. So they're going to be putting more time and effort into that, creating better content on YouTube Red regardless. And I think a lot of people are going to gravitate towards it, honestly, um, because people, I feel like regular YouTube is just going to end up being for a uh, like amateurs, honestly. Um, I can't agree with that a little bit, but people are already spending like the people who are big on YouTube. They don't have other jobs. Like they don't. They this is their job. You know, this is what they do for a living. It's they had a hobby at one point, and they finally were able to do their hobby for a living, which is what everyone's goal should be. You know, because everyone has a hobby, and they get another job. And maybe eventually they'll be able to just do that hobby for a living, and they got that. So I don't think they'd be spending any less time. Um, I don't think they're the only people making those YouTube Red shows. You know, I'm pretty sure they have like, like a cast and all that, and like a team and a director and all that. I don't think it's going to be them alone. Oh right, yeah, 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 they're they're yeah, pairing I'll... them up with big production companies in order to produce real premium content. Like they're pairing you know the youtube big youtube stars with big production companies big names to produce something different with a lot of production value behind it and in a very premium format and uh, that's that's the thing with all that going on you know those youtubers aren't going to be focusing on making a you know cheaper video that um you know people aren't going to be that they're not going to be profiting as much off of on regular they're going to be focusing on YouTube Red. So if people really want to see them and want to see the things that they're putting out, then... I, um, Tony, stop laughing when I say put out! <laughs> yeah, do you put out? Those doesn't even put out. Dude. What was the out? I'm just sending uh, you your first folks. that if they subscribe, I'll, I'll put out. <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. If you subscribe to our channel, Rose will see you for three minutes. Each subscriber will have a three-minute cyber session with Rose. <laughs> subscribe. They will have really rough sex. If you live close enough to the area, you have to subscribe and pay for the Twitch channel subscribe button we're going to get. Hopefully, uh, I'm actually, I plan on working on the Twitch channel a lot with uh, Andrew, actually, because I feel like that's going to grab the most viewers. I yeah, love I would streaming. love hey, you know what? to stream, but I just don't have the fucking internet for it. Andrew is one of the few people who do, I would show do my have the internet. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, you can actually get banned for that now forever. You can get your entire account banned for. What? If I took my shirt off, <sighs> if I had my shirt off as a male, not saying anything, you know, not anything misogynistic or anything like that. But I like when you have your shirt if, off. If I had my shirt off during a Twitch stream, I would also get banned for that because they don't tolerate it in any form. Um, which I feel like is fair, yeah. kind of, I guess. Fair. Um, yeah. that is fair, definitely. I'm not disagreeing with you, but uh, they're that they're not gonna be too strict with that because there's so many fucking females there is. that do that. There, so. is. there is. They're really strict. But, Twitch mods are like Nazis. Yeah, they really are. I, I mean, know. Hunter got IP um, banned. Hunter got IP banned uh, for trolling in a stream once. For he got IP banned for about maybe what was it like a year and a half until until Twitch came under new management. Um, did he what was he able to have his IP unbanned because they said they couldn't unban him when he messaged them about it because he was unbanned without them even looking into the problem. He just instantly got IP banned forever and he couldn't upload, he couldn't watch, he couldn't stream, he couldn't do anything. That was pretty dumb. Oh. That makes that makes me kind of upset because like 
you can't take your shirt off. I'm not going to start a boy versus girl world, but I'm pretty sure you can all just go on Twitch right now and just see cameras pointed at very exposed tits with no nipple, and they don't get banned. Well, yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I wasn't talking that's, about, that's, like, cool boobs. Uh, you know, I was talking about... I mean, just, I'm not complaining I don't have clothing, at all. But, you know, girls that do just go on it, easy money, fucking... Show some boobage and if you, you know want. thirsty <laughs> fucking nerds who play League of Legends. Like just it doesn't even matter if you're good at League of Legends. Like just go on and uh, you know, tits. and and everyone so, who doesn't have a life one, like then will pay yeah. you. Have a real okay. If you want to support the channel a lot, like have one of Scrab viewers on the Twitch channel, send us money for donations. We'll get well some breast implants and we can start to rapidly grow and exponentially increase with Twitch viewers every day, making our uh, <laughs> landfill even bigger. Have clans in every game. If you want to see this happen, if you want to see if you want to see asbestos exposed to the whole internet, donate right now. We'll make a PayPal for it, and we'll pay for Rose's breast implants. I just want, um, like, Actually, a song that, that plays in the ASPCA commercials to start playing in the background. Um, while yeah, you were saying that. that, like, like don't... But Rose's wait, tits. there's more. If you daily another $5, we'll give Andrew breast implants for his Twitch streams, because he acted as a girl before. He looks pretty good, I'm not going to be honest. He, he did pretty good. So, if you give Andrew girl. tits, he'll, he'll do very well. Because he'll be streaming Fallout 4 with tits. Who doesn't want to watch that? I want to watch that. I I'm watch getting it. excited about thinking about that right now. I don't know right anyone now. who doesn't want to watch that. Um, I'm pretty, pretty into that, uh, so... Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, if you're really into that, check out Chad Bates. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Tyler actually Wait, goes on yeah, Chad Bates daily. He really Chad, does. Do we have a Chad Bates account yet? No, we do not have a Chad Bates account. Let's make it. <laughs> Catch I'd us on Chad, Chad Bates, Bates guys. Uh, uh, check out Trash Party uh, on Chad Bates. I think we actually had other topics that we were going to talk mm. about. Uh, I wasn't really done with YouTube Red. I had something to add with the YouTube Red discussion. No, you, didn't. Uh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I was going to say about YouTube Red was um, that while I agree, see, when you said about people, content creators, not focusing as much on the regular uh, base content and focusing more on YouTube Red, I feel like it's a little early uh, to say that because we don't know. YouTube Red could be a total flop. So I mean, if well, the numbers aren't if the numbers aren't there, I'm not saying it is or isn't, but if the numbers aren't there, they're gonna see that, and then they're gonna be like, "Well, I'm not gonna focus on YouTube Red." No. I guess Rose disagrees. <laughs> um, oh, Tyler, I... you shut the fuck up! I am never letting you see my ass ever again. I'm just gonna wear a cardboard box around my. No. Waist. Damn it. And channels like oh, unsubscribe, stream over. unfollow. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm gonna make my own Take channel. Your money back, and demand refunds. Do you guys want to join? It's gonna be called. Um... It's, gonna it's gonna be called. Be called... <laughs> oh, we know the name. I think we know the name. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you just can't say the name. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna try to get as far away from that one as possible. But more importantly, I think that it's going to depend on the algorithms. I think it's going to depend on how much money they see they can make off of all of that. But I, I think getting, when, they're when not getting my money. YouTube Red first came, was first announced and I was going down the list of the premium shows and stuff, uh, Toby Turner is going to have a, a show on, on YouTube Red. And Tyler and I, I don't know if anyone else watches Toby Turner a lot, but Ty, Tyler and I watch Toby Turner a lot. And Tyler had said that Toby, he, he doesn't really like Toby Turner as much lately because he hasn't been uploading as frequently. And it's kind of, you know, that was kind of his thing. He uploads daily most of the time on his gaming channel. And that was, you know, I mean, what I, made him I, cool. I just discovered that he is actually writing a book. So, I mean. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, PewDiePie so, just came out with a book. This book loves you. He just came out with. Uh, oh, no, that was, that was PewDiePie. It was PewDiePie. Oh, so, Toby okay. Doing? Toby, no, Toby was doing like. And like a literally, he was doing another game or something like that. 
he, he already has a game out on iOS. I'm pretty sure. Oh he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Games. Yeah, Toby Turner makes games. He doesn't make them. I think he pays people to make them for him and uses him yeah, as a character. I, but... Yeah, he is a character. He voice acts in it and stuff like that. Yeah, which is pretty and cool. PewDiePie made a game too. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck? And why, why not? You know, when you have that much money, like, who cares? Like, I would do the same thing. Yeah. Maybe we could program it, Tony. We could program uh, Toby's and PewDiePie's next game. I we need to make a trash party game oh, on Unity. No. It's gonna be a, it's gonna come be on, a guys, come come crowdfund us, come crowdfund us on Kickstarter for the trash party video game. Uh, you'll all be able to be in anything it. Anything crowdfunded for? If you donate, yeah, we won't do any. We won't fulfill any of our promises uh, for crowdfunding. Streams over. Yeah, uh, we won't have a uh, campaign or a multiplayer. It will actually just be a uh, black screen. Uh, with we'll do a, the main uh, menu. Come on, a, we'll do a the three-dimensional box where you could float around on uh, one surface, like. And the entire time, a very uh, distinctive version of the Ducktales theme song will be playing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the game. Streams You're also over. A, uh, uh, streams over. Streams over. No. I'm I'm done talking. Yeah, I can't up. talk. Uh, there you go. Sorry about that. Um, but so, does anybody still want to do that? Uh, runes, uh, retribution, Runescape video where you just use retribution over and over again. I'm down. I I need to get retribution what is, first. What, what does that mean? Retribution is a prayer spell where you uh do a lot of damage to the person that just killed you when you die. And quotes a lot of damage. It's pretty much like martyrdom um in Modern Warfare 2 where you drop a grenade at your <laughs> your feet when you die. It's kind of like that. You just obliterate whoever just killed you. Um and it's yeah, it's it. it's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap in PVP. People do that in PVP a lot. So that's Tony's angle um, like going by in PVP. A lot dying. of damage in quotes does it mean it doesn't actually do a lot of damage or like it, uh, it will it, kill it hits, the other person. It hits it hits randomly every time. Yeah, you could actually hit really fucking like low or you can hit really high. Well, I mean, uh, if yeah, we all die uh, about the same time, maybe we could take down some people with us, you know. Al Huakbal retribution. Keep an eye out. God, is, God really is great. I mean, like, when they put that RPG in my hand <laughs> over in Saudi Arabia and they said, you shoot at that plane, I mean, Oof. I couldn't say no. I mean, there was a kid handing me lemonade. He was bitching that he didn't have his iPod. Oh, my God. Wow. I mean, this just could not drag out any longer. Like, I'm just waiting for it to hit an hour <laughs> so I can just end it. Like, it's just been, it's just been a struggle. No. Is it, is it, are we ending? Are no, we ending no, not yet, man. We gotta just keep trying to. We keep. Yeah, let's just keep going. We gotta keep trying to like stay. No one stops the coal train, baby. <laughs> um, but I just feel like if I go back to talking about YouTube Red again, it's just gonna get derailed like really easy. Oh, okay. Just really quick about the Toby Dude, Turner thing because I did not finish that. Toby. You're Tyler, not finishing any? I, because I keep getting interrupted. We keep oh. going on tangents. Um, Toby, Toby Turner, you know, Tyler said that he, he was like, oh, Toby hasn't been uploading as frequently. And I said that, well, he, he has this new series coming out for YouTube Red uh, that I'm I'll sure be he's been... I, I'm sure he's been devoting a lot of time to that and writing this, that script because he is writing it, he's he's performing in it, and so it is his kind of it is his brainchild. So I'm sure he's been doing a lot of work on that lately, and that has kind of limited as as much as he can upload possibly, and that might be why. And I think that we we might see that in the near future when these uh, things start to be more heavily worked on and are in production we might see pewdiepie drop off a little bit and and his activity not a lot but just you could might be able to notice that oh you know he said he was busy today and and yesterday maybe you know like why couldn't he upload things like that so we might be seeing that in the near future of people being a little busy all of a sudden with youtube red stuff and i think that might be in my opinion that's probably going to be because, like I said, I disagree with what you said about them focusing entirely on YouTube Red and ditching the baseline stuff because I feel like there's always going to be an audience. Fair, like, 
Yeah, I feel like I there's mean, always going to be an audience on the baseline stuff, and they're always going to be making money off of that. I mean, they've made... Feel, uh, oh, I didn't say they were going to focus only on YouTube, no, no, but no, I said no, that. Um, <laughs> honestly, PewDiePie would be better off because he makes short, like, he makes 20-minute videos anyway, you know? Like, I'm not saying he puts a lot of work in them. I'm saying he isn't, like, he doesn't make long videos that would take, t like, that much time away that he wouldn't be able to also do YouTube that efficiently. Like, he, his formula is, like, 20-minute videos over and over regularly because you get, you don't get, it's not about views anymore. It's about how long people watch, you know? For YouTube, right? And if that, it's just clickbait, you know? It's just clickbait. You just keep clicking the 20-minute video, and before you know it, you have to go to school, you're late, you know? <laughs> so PewDiePie has a good formula to do YouTube Red with. Uh, I think... Uh, YouTube for uh, 14 times in a row, and uh, you know it's already four o'clock in the morning. You don't know what to do with yourself. He came out with another uh, YouTube high school. Bad time. He came out with another YouTube high school, making fun of uh, channels that do prank videos, like the new prank videos and stuff that are just awful and borderline crime. That isn't funny at all, and it's just like hurting I haven't people. Seen any of them. I hope wow. Filthy Frank gets a YouTube red thing going. Actually, will that will never happen. We will never see that. <laughs> we will never see that. They're taking people who are safe and 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 uh, family Dang. friendly, more family friendly. I mean, what? Yeah, I know. PewDiePie not family friendly. PewDiePie. His Not the even. stuff that has gotten him to where he is, he tried to keep it pretty family friendly. I mean, obviously, like YouTube High School, like we were just saying, not not family friendly. <laughs> things like <laughs> like that kind of. Stuff. I mean, he has a history of like YouTube doing things that are not family friendly. YouTube. Like, just watch all of his videos yeah. because all of his videos he just curses like and like gets loud. I, if you're gonna talk about someone who's more family friendly, because it's in Swedish though. I don't think they're like directing oh, it at five year olds, Tyler. Yeah, like, if I, mean, if I get old. loud well, in a video, like I don't think. I mean, that, yeah, yeah, like I don't know about about, about directing it at five volume years. now. Uh, means like I know you're your kids friendly. might get scared, Tyler. Like like Lainey might start screaming in your ears, but uh, <laughs> Tyler, if you get scared, if I get loud, you know. Which you do. I don't know what to tell you. Oh like, my god. You need to grow, like, grow a pair. <gasps> oh! We've, oh we've... Uh, Tyler and I have really been going at it lately, like, so. Yeah, having sex. That's because you're just making unintelligent, um, rebuttals. And... God, I think you have a tiny dick. <gasps> Once again, an unintelligent rebuttal. Oh my god! Tyler! I know you just say keep saying the same sentence over and over again and think it's going to win you the argument, but you're wrong. Say something intelligent, please. Oh my god. Tyler, I know you, you clever, fucking... Please. I know you have a like, tiny penis. Something. I know you have a tiny dick, but... Um, uh, Rose, like... Yeah. Like, um... I mean, uh... How's your brother in the animal <laughs> fisting porn? How's that, how's that going for you? It's going really well, actually. Glad you asked. Probably got it from you. I mean, oh, so, oh, that was probably your video, wasn't it? Oh my god! <laughs> right. Tyler, I know you ruin your chances with every single girl you're with, and they all go to Brock. But <gasps> oh, and then Rose came back with the rebuttal. It's not like I know if you really wanted me too, to get like... into it, and, like talking about why all the girls don't want to like fuck you because you have a neck beard and all you do is play League of Legends <laughs> and Darkscape. So, <laughs> like at least I leave my house sometimes. <laughs> Rose, you get fucked by Brock too, so like I don't know what you're talking about. It got really trashy really fast. It was trashy the second we started. We didn't wait. This video, last video, we had a good roll going. I don't know what happened, but we didn't wait for this one. It got, like, out of hand. I mean, right it, got tra it got trashy as soon as Rose entered the call. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. You really just got me, Ethan. Do you need some roasting, too? Get him, Rose, get I, I dare you. I dare you no, to roast me. Ethan will actually just not stop. Like Ethan's actually relentless. Um, he's probably the one person that I'm kind of scared to roast.
We're gonna see it eventually. It's gonna happen. We're gonna get it. It'll in. happen. Yeah. It happens. Uh, very. Uh, on very to. very oh general ro- occasions. Roast you anyway, cause... you just roast yourself like over time. <gasps> Oh, no, Tyler! Tyler's has, still God, trying to spill your roast. Now Tyler's just being passive aggressive. Like his neck beard hair is just whispering in his ear, and they're like, "Go for one more roast." And then he he feels like he has to, and he tries really fucking hard, but uh, he's still single and doesn't leave his house. Oh, oh my God, God. bro! This is actually your first boyfriend, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we've been together for three years. How long have you been with your last girlfriend, Tyler? Um, Who's your last Ah. <laughs> Ethan was like, <laughs> congratulations. Like, Ethan was like, Who's your last girl? Oh, thanks. <laughs> wow, that Actions. literally spiraled so far out of control. We're running, <laughs> we're running over time now. We really need to end the stream. It's gonna confuse people when we yeah, keep saying gonna stream. They're gonna think the that we are. Are we gonna are talk streaming. about Star Wars? That's and good. Stuff? We're tricking them into watching the Twitch channel. I think we, we need. Have more. We're gonna save Star Wars every 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 week. I say we have to save Star Wars just because we're gonna be talking about it so much. That's a big topic. Yeah, it's a big topic. We're, we're there's gonna be a podcast. We're just only gonna talk about Star Wars. Like it's gonna happen. So we we, we gotta keep it. We gotta keep it one hundred. In that respect, but... about as big as Tony's speech impact. <laughs> Here's a Tyler. Tyler, stop. Tyler. Tony. Tyler. No. Tony. Tony. Okay. Because no matter how big the is, it's me. still bigger than Tyler's trailer. Ah, oh, you got me, dude. You inherited all your money from like your grandparents. All right. All right, all right, all right oh right, my right, God, right. God, dude! Right, hey, that guys. means that someone in my that means that someone in my family is capable of making money at least. <laughs> Not you. I I say cut. I I really say yeah, cut. Streams like, over. I don't get paid like ten bucks a week for my baby bumby grandparents to have me like hold their you cock paid, and get their mail for you them. get paid that you get paid down the street, at, you get paid down, at christmas time for doing nothing is that is down that you the street down the street tyler's grandparents live they pay him tons of money and he says he earns it even though he literally just takes their mail back out of their mailbox and just hands it to them arguing with your parents about like how you can't do things what your job is oh, that's just arguing with your parents. Oh, dude. Um, you want to know why I argue with my parents? Because they actually ask me to do stuff. I actually make a conscience, like I make a conscious effort to pitch and then in you don't the house. do it. Nah, dude. I just, I just look at my mom, who like gives me a house to live in. I mean, she wouldn't, she wouldn't be yelling at you for like no reason. She she yells at me anyway. Tyler, I mean, you are such an asshole to everyone in your house. You literally like you hear a yeah. baby crying and you just tell the baby to fuck off, like, and then you just masturbate in front of your mom and get your clown. door taken off. <laughs> the clown. <man. laughs> oh, Tyler doesn't even know how to respond. <laughs> Like if that's actually the only joke you have, like it's not even a joke. Oh my god! Like, it's not even a joke. Tyler doesn't even like. Tyler's kicking me like, there after we're done with this. Like, I can, I can, I can see my penis though. You have a penis? No one else. I mean, is... you can't see yours, so. I mean, at least I can use mine though. Yeah, like I know who you. Alright, alright. So I think, I think. Go ahead, I man, think say Tyler's it, say had it. enough. Tyler's taken a little Tyler's too much. Enough, I think Tyler's. we've all had enough. I think right. it's time that we. No, I want to hear who Tyler says no. I can use my penis on because he he has this Tyler, secret Tyler. weapon. I'm not gonna use. <laughs> let me, let me <laughs> save it for next part. Guys, let me let me let me, uh, let me so I want I want to calm things down really quick with a song. Tell me if you can hear my guitar. Bro, Tyler, no, Tyler, no, Tony, the yeah, copyright, the copyright. We can hear. You hear this? Yeah, we can hear it. Okay, time for you this because it'll calm everyone down. Have you heard the, Have you heard it yet, Wells? I wrote I wrote this for you. I wrote this for Wells. And oh, he, is it actually for me? he knows how to play the Star Wars yeah, theme song theme. on his guitar. Here it is. Yeah, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play the Star Wars theme song. Here we go. All right. <laughs>
Oh, I'm waiting. There we go. That's it. That was just all his theme song. <laughs> that, was it was, it, that might have sounded good if you weren't lagging ass and I heard Wait, like the I know it's also Tony. <laughs> and I got to eat the food and had a crash party with like tumors. Alright, well guys, that's all we have for the podcast tonight. Uh hope you guys have enjoyed everything that we discussed very trashily tonight. Tony's gonna play me out. And uh, if you want to see more trash, if you if you enjoy if you enjoy wearing fingerless gloves and stuff like that, then uh, definitely give us a subscribe because we are the epicenter of fingerless glove videos. So please give us a like and uh, five star the video, favorite us, uh, subscribe to us on Tumblr, and uh, we'll see you next week on the podcast.